Alright guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my experiences of playing Amazon's new MMO called New World from the perspective of a long-term World of Warcraft player. So I've played the game for a good 24 hours, technically 25, and it's important to know that I've totally gone in blind. I didn't look up anything about the game before I started playing it. You know, no guides on YouTube or on the internet or anything like that because I wanted to fully immerse myself and properly review the game from a total new noob's point of view to really evaluate how difficult or easy the game is to figure out and just pick up. So what I will do is just talk about what I think about the game, what I feel like this game is, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, and I'll also make a similar video to this one later on when I've played the entirety of the two-week beta. So first things first, this is an extremely different MMO to World of Warcraft. If you play New World expecting it to be anything like World of Warcraft, you will be very, very disappointed, and personally I think this is a very good thing. Okay, this is an MMO trying to do something a little bit different rather than just copying World of Warcraft's kind of regime of instanced raid content, raid logging, you know, at endgame. And, you know, I think that personally for me has become quite stagnant. And, uh, you know, it's about time that, you know, a new MMO did something new and New World definitely ticks that box. The first big difference is character design because it's so much better. Basically, there are no classes in the game, just weapon skills that you can skill up by using them, and you will have talent trees for every single individual weapon type. So it's a lot like Skyrim in that regard. You know, you level up a skill and then you pick up perks along the way. So, for instance, if you got bored of using one weapon type, you could very easily just start using another weapon and you wouldn't have to totally re roll your class or anything like that because every single player has access to every class, basically. And you can actually cross-build two weapon types together because you can switch weapons in under a second and just start pumping out new abilities. It's much, much less restrictive than World of Warcraft. It just basically allows you to have fun more. I'm a little worried, honestly, how that's going to turn out when it comes to combining two, you know, weapon types at once, because it feels like you know, swapping to a new weapon to get new abilities while the other ones are on cooldown is a little bit overpowered. Maybe they'll balance that in the future. The way they balance armor is also done very well. Basically, you have three different modes depending on how heavy your gear is. Each individual gear piece has a number on it displaying how heavy it is. And then, say for instance, you get to 15 weight, that means you are now wearing a medium um, you're basically in medium mode rather than light armor mode or heavy mode. When you're in light armor mode, you actually get a 20% damage buff, and then your rolls are much bigger, like your dodges. Then when you've got medium armor, you only get a 10% damage buff, and then instead of rolling, you do like a big sidestep, and then your CC lasts 10% longer. And then when you're wearing heavy armor, you don't get any damage buff, but you get like a much longer duration on your crowd control ability is 20% and then you only have like a very small sidestep and anyone can equip any kind of armor and mi you know mix and max anything that you want there's absolutely no limitations to what you can do and what you can figure out and yeah this is really good and this is fun I think it will take quite a while for um, you know some of the like meta plays to uh, fully be realized and the combat itself is so fast paced and it's so fun, it's very refreshing in comparison to World of Warcraft, you know, it's, there's no tab targeting or, you know, pressing abilities on your screen or hard casting abilities or anything like that. Everything's very instantaneous and overall just way more fast paced and way more fun in my opinion. Now, let me tell you about the crafting system, this is a big part of New World. Professions or trade skills as they are called in this game aren't something you can really skip and just you know do when you're max level you actually need gathering skills to you know actually complete certain stages of the main quest and crafting is how you basically make some of the best gear in the game and it makes you very very powerful trying to play this game without doing any crafting well you, yeah you, you can have a real hard time i actually think new world is essentially like valheim crossed with runescape with Witcher 3 graphics and huge world PvP events. That would be how I would sum up the game in a sentence. I think making professions very relevant to the game is a good thing. Like you can level up any of the gathering professions or 
any of the crafting professions that you want. Again, you're not limited to just having two, like in World of Warcraft. I think uh, the cooking is particularly interesting since the, you know, the food buff is so powerful and uh, it's just so much more easier to obtain than World of Warcraft. For instance, you, you have your two main rations that will either provide health or mana regeneration, and then it will give you a buff that increases your regeneration for a further 20 minutes. And you really don't want to be out in the world adventuring without this crafted food, since natural health regeneration in the game is very, very slow. You would have to make like a campfire every time that you want to get your health topped up. And overall, I just feel like it's really good how impactful all of the food is. It isn't just like a small tip of the iceberg buff like it is in World of Warcraft. When it comes to questing, you know, the main content of the game, things are fairly straightforward, right? You've got your main linear quest, which is, you know, fairly interesting. It's voice acted. It has a bit of a basic story. And uh, I think that's a good thing, right? People don't play New World for the story, okay? Because this is going to be a game that... The players make the story, not the developers. The players are just left with this world with certain systems in place to, to really do whatever they want. It's much more sandboxy. Then you have your side quests and your faction quests. These are very simple. I think the leveling of this game is very similar to Warlords or Draenor leveling, if I'm going to be honest. You have your very basic grindy quests in certain locations. And you can find these like little journals on the map, which are kind of like Warlords or Draenor treasures that grant you bonus experience. Right, and the rep quests generate a currency that can be spent on faction gear. And I like how faction gear isn't just an end game thing. Okay, you can actually get gear pieces while you're leveling up, and you probably should do so because it's some of the best gear in the game apart from the gear that you buy. You can also customize the gears to whatever stats that suits you with these particular seals that you can buy. So you can tailor the gear for whatever build that you're going for, whether it's tank or caster or you know, gunman or like a, you know, a melee fighter or whatever. Overall, I do have to admit that the leveling is fairly typical MMO leveling, okay? You know, you get a quest to kill a certain amount of X or loot a certain amount of X, and yeah, it's fairly straightforward. And I honestly don't think this is much of an issue because the gameplay itself and the sense of progression and the world around you, the crafting system, everything like this and the PvP is very, very, very addictive and that is what this game is going to be all about. It's going to be about the open world PvP, the faction battles and the open world events when the, you know, corrupted guys you know, coming after you when you are a bit too powerful. The game really does seem to reward you a lot for your exploration, and the world itself is just absolutely stunning. Like, I haven't seen a game this good since Witcher 3, which is very refreshing because I've been playing an M MMO, you know, from that has basically has 2004 graphics for the past two or three years. My only real concern is faction imbalance issues, and that could ruin the game for some people in certain factions because you know, they may become too underpopulated while others are becoming overpopulated, but it's early days for me to make judgement on that, as I haven't really had a good crack at PvP yet, because, well, it seems like every time that I look to do some PvP, I have to wait another 22 hours for that battle to happen, so because of my schedule, I just seem to be missing a lot of the action, so I'll update, you know, what I think about PvP in the future. I mean, I could have looked up how PvP works you know, in a video or something and then put it into that video, but I don't really want to do that. I almost want to stay ignorant myself and discover it for myself naturally while playing the game. And that is essentially a summary of what I've discovered within the first 24 hours of playing this game and what I think that the game feels like. Overall, I have to admit I'm pretty hooked. It's nice to be playing something fresh and discovering things for the first time again in an MMO. I think the first time... Sorry, the last time I played a new MMO was all the way back when Stars of the Republic was released. And the most important thing I'm enjoying about this game is actually making mistakes and learning from them. Because when I first started playing, I was building my like fire staff build, and I noticed I wasn't really doing that much damage. And the reason why I wasn't doing much damage is because I was walking around in heavy armour. I didn't have that 20% extra damage from wearing light armour. And I had really bad stats, which weren't favouring you know, my staff damage which means my abilities weren't doing any damage because it all scales of weapon damage. But, you know, I eventually figured out I was doing something wrong. I made some changes to my talents, to my gear, and now I'm absolutely pumping and I'm taking on enemies that are like five levels higher than me. So the patience just kind of paid off rather than just switching to, you know, change it to a different weapon. 
And another shocking truth is how New World really makes me feel like I've been living in the Dark Ages because of how stunning the game looks and how the combat feels when you compare it to World of Warcraft. When I look at World of Warcraft now, that kind of looks like how I used to look at EverQuest and Morrowind when it comes to graphics and technology, when you put that up against New World. So that was um, yeah, quite a shocking realisation for me personally. But anyway guys, stay tuned for more updates on New World. My name is Amanda Goblin, until my next video, ciao.